Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial of how to use Metrica. I'm going to go through several phases of how to work with it with different plans you got. So let's get it going. First thing you want to do is create a workspace or use the default one you have. For this purpose, I will create one, put it right here. He will create a folder where the workspace will be located. So now, here you have the video manager where you will create your video projects. And this is the playlist parts where you're going to organize the clips that you save in folders. So let's say I want to create a video project of my next opponent. I'm going to create it. I can do all the descriptions I want. I'm going to leave it like this. And this project is created. This is how projects look like. Now here, he is asking me for the video, which I'm going to click on it and select the game that I have on my computer. I'll select this one, for example. He will check the video for the frame rate, for the duration, dimensions, and check if everything is accordingly so that the workflow can be as smooth as possible. Now that he is imported, I can click on the project and I can now watch the video here. This is the duration. These are the controls, play, pause, the speed, how long it takes and this right here is the timeline where I can click through it and go through any moment of the match that I want. Now before I start cutting clips from these 97 minutes I'm going to create a folder all right, for my next opponent. And inside this folder I can create a bunch of playlists which are important to me. Let's say my pre-game analysis. Okay. Or if I want just the set pieces or if I want just build up plays, this part will depend on your needs. So feel free to use whatever way you want to cut clips, name them as you please, what's best for your interests. In this case, let's say I want this clip right here. I have two ways to save it. One is with the R button, which is this red button down here. And as you see, the timeline is recording right now. I can click further or back. And when I press the R again, he will save it to the playlist. He saved this video cut for 28 seconds into this playlist because it's selected. If I select this one, and now I click here and I press the R, he will save it to this playlist because this is the playlist that is selected as you see it went right here another way to save clips is by clicking this button the s button and here i can say how long i want it to save before and after this precise moment all right i'm on 2452 if i click the s button he will record 15 seconds before this and 10 seconds after it so here s I press the S button and there you go. He recorded 15 seconds. All right. So these are the two ways you have of taking clips from here, creating a video project and now cutting them into here. I have another way. If I want, if I have several video files, short clips and not the full game, I can come here, add video file as clip and I can select all these five for example and do open and he will import these clips directly into my playlist be aware we recommend that you use short clips for these parts all right do not upload do not import big games here because then the workflow will be much much more complicated to work with all right in this case it works fine and you can add as many as you want, work with as many as you want, but we recommend, for example, this one is four minutes. What you can do here is come here, when you select the video, you have two bars here. You can do it like this and make it shorter, ideally below two minutes, that's what we recommend, okay? You can always adjust this in any clip, this one before and after, it's up to you to do it, all right? Now let's say I want to 
do some video analysis on this. It's always the same technique. I open the annotations module, which is this button right here. And now depending on my plan, I can still use some or all of the effects that I have here available to me. If I have the basic plan, I can do manual field tracking, which pops up this mini map. And I'm going to go here and maybe here. I'm gonna choose some points that are obvious and then I believe will make the pitch look good. Not that much. Let's see if this one works here. Yeah, pretty much perfect. Now I click process here and the pitch is calibrated. Now this will allow me to do distances between players, all right? Add trace, future trail, or pin drawings. For example, if I do a circle right here, say I wanna do this circle here. Now I just extend this bar and he will stay in the same place as the camera moves away. For example, with the link, I could do this, one, two, three, and add distance in 3D as well. That's one of the main ideas. And now I can do the player tracking. These two buttons, the player tracking, is only available in the light version. If I'm on the basic plan, I will have to do my annotations manually, like this. I click this player, I press play, pause, I grab the box and I put it on top of the player, just like this. As long as he's moving, I do play, pause, and I drag the box onto the player that I want to highlight. And as you can see, this bar, this bar has been growing. I can always change the effect when I click on him and click these three little buttons I can make it big, I can change the color, okay, I can put a ring, two rings, make them big as I please. I can put a tag on his and I can put the speed as well. Remember, you have the speed of the player available to you as long as you calibrate the pitch, okay, in this case, like this. So if you have the light plan, you can do automatic field tracking, okay? You don't have to do it manually like the first one I did. With the automatically, it's just like that. It's automatic, he will calibrate the pitch for you all the way, all right? And this will allow you to do all these things I showed you and even add some text, let's say defensive transition. I can put it in 3D and put it whatever I want, as big as I want. And if I add the chroma key with this button right here and then extend this bar, the players will pass on top of it, all right? Which is a neat effect to use in presentations to make it more dynamic. You can also import XMLs. If you use, when you open the project, you can import an XML here. If you use other tagging software providers, you can always come here and use, take here, for example, 11 buildup sections. When I click here on this bar, I can see the events related to it. And if I press the S button, he will record these events into my playlist. For example, I have here four goals. This will be one, this is not the video related to it, but here one, two, three, four. I can select them all with command A on Mac or control T in Windows and press S and all my goals will be transferred to this playlist that was selected. So this is another way to work is importing XMLs, adding the video correctly that matches the XML of course, importing the XML and then just viewing all the events on my timeline and passing whichever I want into my playlist. Okay, this is the one. Now to use the cloud, you're going to create your video project here in cloud.metricasports.com. 
you're going to log in with the same login and password you use for the software and create the video projects here. You can do single video project, go next opponent, for example, click next. Here you're going to select a video file, let's say this one again, and everything will be selected for you. Okay, you don't need to change anything here. Automated tracking data, yes, that's what you want. And then you press next. And this file will be created online, all right? Now it takes a little bit of time. Let's say your timing, your video is 90 minutes. It could take 120 minutes to process. It really depends. So we, we recommend you always do some testing and see how long it will take to upload the file and do all the processing of the automated tracking data. Once it's done, you will receive an email so you can go back to the software. In the software, right here next to Video Manager, you have this icon right here. When you click on it, look, this one is already here. It's a reflection of the cloud where you've just uploaded the project. So once this is here, you come into this button and going to import the video project into the workspace. You go back and here it is. Now, once this automated tracking data is done, you will see these icons more lively. Then you just link the video file that you have already on your computer or you can download it from the cloud. I'm going to show you an example of what it looks to work with cloud projects. I'm going to close this workspace. I'm going to open this one. Here, this project I have right here comes from the cloud, all right? It has the video attached and it has these icons that tell me that field detection and player and team detection are correct. And I can confirm that here. When I click this button, I can see that every player in my pitch is tracked. So what does this mean? I'm going to cut the video here. Let's say this one right here. R, and here the video cut is here. Now when I want to add something, let's say the link, let's say one, two, three, four, I don't have to use these buttons or do any manual keyframing. I'm just going to extend this bar for as long as I want it to remain. I can click on these ones as well. One, two, three, four, and to finish my 442, these two as well. And as you see, I have now my team linked in no time. So this is the major benefit of the cloud, which also comes with some extra tactical lines like this, team width or the team length, all right? This will give you a nice proper idea of how wide the team is and you also can benefit from the pitch control. These are only available when you import something from the cloud. Now you can top up with any minutes that you want. Any plan can get 10, 100 minutes, any minutes that you want. So you can have a free version and get minutes and use the tracking data. Okay, you can buy 10 minutes, for example. And here you will have, where it says here, 10 minutes to upload small clips to the cloud, okay? So you don't need to be a pro that has already 10 minutes included, all right, to be able to have the cloud. No, you can have the light version, okay? And buy some minutes. You can have the basic or the free and buy some minutes. Notice that the basic, you can have it just like it is, if you want the manual field tracking, which is this one that I showed you in the beginning, you choose this one. And if you want the XML import function as well, you need to add it as an add-on, all right? So these are the main plans. I hope this was helpful. For more tutorials, let me know how I can help.